we are finishing up our mitten knit along. So if you followed along with me, you should be just wrapping it up. So here's my mittens left and right. Great. So I'm going to show you how I like to weave in the ends and finish that on up. And then <clears throat> we're going to talk about what's next. So there's some exciting stuff going on at Pearl Together. So let's weave in our ends and finish this up. And then I'll show you what's coming up. Okay, I'm loving the mittens. They turned out really squishy. Um, they're a little smaller in diameter, as I mentioned in the first video, just because of the color work, add some thickness. Um, so, you know, if you're just casting on and you're just starting, you're gonna wanna keep that in mind, that adding that, that pattern creates that double thickness and will make the whole mitten feel kind of tighter. So I've had to reiterate that a couple of times in the group, so I just wanted to point that out again. Um, okay, so we're gonna turn this inside out and I'm gonna show you how I choose to weave in the ends and finish this off. Um, I've already woven in my cast on end. All I did there was, you know, just go in and out through this bottom edge. And then I usually run the tag in down, down one of these columns about an inch and just snip it off. So you'll want to get your tapestry needle. Um, you can also take this opportunity to go ahead and if you did end up with a little bit of a hole at the thumb gusset at the joint, you know, in between here, you can take your tail end and weave that in and out and sew that up. So that's one advantage for leaving yourself a long enough tail with which to do that. So I'm just going to make sure I don't have any holes there. Let me move this uh, lighter colored one out of the way. And I'm just going to go in and out a couple of times and tie that off and weave in my ends. So pretty simple. When you're going in and out though, just make sure that you're not poking all the way through. So I'm just, you know, getting underneath that first strand there and I'm getting underneath the white one, but I'm not going all the way through to the front side of the mitten is what I'm saying. So I'll trim that off and I'm gonna do the same thing here. But the only, I guess the only thing I really wanted to point out with this is when you're even weaving in your contrasting colors, just go down under the first layer of where you carried across those floats. I mean, you don't need to go all the way through to the front side of the mitten, obviously, because then that would show, and that would be a bad idea. So, yeah, I just like to pick the ones that are closest and go ahead and run that down in. And then I'll trim those off, okay? I'm going to do the same, that's one from up there. I'm going to do the same thing here. That's where that was actually tied on originally. So I'm going to run that up vertically, making sure I go under all the floats that I can for an inch or so, just so that there's no, um, you know, you don't, nobody's going to snag a finger on it. Okay, and then I'll trim those off. Okay, well done making your mittens. And so I'm really excited though. What's coming up next, um, our, our group, on Facebook and Ravelry has voted that we will do a shawl knit along next. Now, this is gonna be a little bit different than our previous knit alongs. It's not necessarily gonna be the sloth series. So it's gonna be a little bit more spicy, a little more challenging, um, you know, a little more involved. So we're gonna march right along with this next shawl. Voting is happening right now. There's just so many out there, so many shawl patterns out there that are just exquisite. I couldn't decide. And so we're having round one of voting right now in the Facebook group. If you're in the Ravelry group, come on over. The reason I'm doing it in the Facebook group is because uh, Facebook has the polling feature, which makes it a lot easier for people to just go click, click, click and vote. Ravelry doesn't really have that. So come on over. Right now is round one because I posted nine patterns that I thought would be just fantastic to do as a group. So we'll get through round one, which is vote for your top, top one or two that you like. Then I will pick the three that get the most votes and we'll do the final round of voting in the next couple, two, three days. So in addition to that, uh, my friends over at Cowgirl Yarn are gonna hook us up with um, a shawl kit so whatever pattern we decide, I will get on the phone with them and we'll talk about colors, we'll talk about yarn choices, and uh, you'll be able to order supplies from Cowgirl Yarn. So look, I'm really looking forward to that. I plan to go and visit them next Friday and I might convince them to let me video a little bit and ask some questions and do a little tour of their shop. So I'm excited about that too. So, all right, so 
try out those mittens. We just had our first snow this last week. So we're pretty excited for winter over here. I hope you are too. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, join the Facebook group, join the Ravelry group. We're always here to help you out. All right, take care.